Today on Corporate Review, join us as we explore innovative technologies, cutting edge solutions, and timely discussions from leaders across the globe. This is Corporate Review. Welcome to Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. While the internet has enabled increased productivity through accessibility of information, it has also made privacy and control of that information much more challenging. Here today to discuss how their company, VaporStream, is providing solutions that ensure electronic communications without fear of data breach, we have President and CEO Mike Koklanis and CTO and founder Amit Shah. Welcome to you both. Jackie, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Mike, what are the risks we face when we communicate electronically? Well, electronic communications prior to VaporStream leaves information all along the path on devices and servers that can eventually be either compromised through unintended discovery or intentionally propagated, but not your intentions hmm. as the sender. <laughs> wow. Ahmed, how are you helping to provide peace of mind to businesses and consumers in this area? When we came up with the idea of VaporStream, we said, well, why don't we take a step back and see how we can actually try to really solve this problem that Mike just talked about. And we ended up creating some novel technology where we were able to deliver this technology via apps to both consumers and businesses. Hmm. Well, in this Corporate Review Field Report, we take a peek behind the curtain at VaporStream and look at their ephemeral messaging solutions. With VaporStream's ephemeral solutions, only the intended party can view the communications. It cannot be stored, copied, printed, or forwarded by the receiving party, and no traces of the information are created or left in the VaporStream servers or on the sending or receiving devices. One of the challenges is that there are so many applications out there that were really toys. You know, people thought that their pictures were disappearing with Snapchat, and it turns out they're not, right? So people don't know who to trust. Well, we did it right. We did it with the industry's best and most professional encryption technology, key management technologies, the right way to do an application. VaporStream has a couple products which our customers use. Our VaporStream professional product is utilized by small businesses, enterprises, as well as governments. And our Slicer product is mainly utilized by consumers. Mike, for people who have nothing to hide, why should they be concerned about private communications within both their business and their personal life? Well, in the business world, you have a responsibility to protect the information of your clients and your customers. And so, though we may have nothing to hide, we all have social security numbers and accounts and passwords, and often you have to share that kind of information with your clients. Mm -hmm. In your personal life, there's thoughts and ideas, potential business ideas, uh, family ideas, that you do not want to share with anyone other than your intended recipient. Mm -hmm. That might be dates that you're going to be leaving on vacation. Right. It could be personal information about how you feel. So one of the things we like to say is, say what you mean with VaporStream. So you can feel <laughs> very comfortable expressing your deepest thoughts with someone else and knowing it's only going to be shared with them. But Amit, with email, why can't you just encrypt email? Isn't that enough to protect yourself? So a lot of the problems that Mike talked about, it only solves some of them with email encryption. All it really does is that I can send a message to Mike and in transit, nobody can see what the body content is. And that's really about it. But once Mike gets my message, he can do whatever he wants with that message. Mm -hmm. He can send it to you or print out as many copies as he wants, do whatever. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't provide the solution that VaporStream does where as soon as Mike's done reading it, it's gone. And in the middle, there are no copies between my device, the servers, and his device then. So Mike, with all the concerns about data breach and security leaks, what is different about VaporStream's solution for electronics communications? So all previous technologies were operating in a time of constraints that don't exist today. So there was limited network bandwidth, people weren't on smart devices. What they did was store the information, then forward it, store mm -hmm. it and forward it, so that you got a feeling of responsiveness. Mm -hmm. well, those constraints we realized didn't exist anymore. People had intelligent devices with enough memory. You could write intelligent apps. 
there was enough network bandwidth that you could just keep this message streaming, keep it moving from your sending device to the other device. You never really needed to store it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we patented that technology back in 2007. Wow. And we developed something that creates no electronically stored information. And mm. it's the, it was the first thing and the only thing out there that does it the way that we do it. Very interesting. Amit, um, what's the process for getting access to this solution? You just go to the you Apple it's Store? It's simple as downloading the app uh -huh. and registering your, with your email address. And whoever you want to communicate to, you just add them in your address book and you're good to go. And they just have to download the app as well. Huh. So, Mike, what do you think the industry outlook is for ephemeral messaging solutions? In general, often the consumers kind of pull along, or the workers kind of pull along IT. We were clearly early to the market, mm -hmm. but I'm beginning to see as the workforce is more and more mobile enabled and they're bringing their own devices, they're picking the tools that they need to be successful, mm -hmm. traveling and on the road. So they are pushing into corporate America the requirement to say, support me. I'm on five different devices. I'm traveling all the time. I need to be reached and I do not want to be breached. Right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that awareness now is getting more acceptance by the more formal community. And Gartner recently in one of their market watches stated that within the next two years, they believe these types of solutions will become mainstream with multiple choices. The only messaging system that they listed on that list as probable players was VaporStream. All right. So. Congratulations on that. It sounds like VaporStream has a solid grasp on security and communications, both for individuals and for companies alike. And I'd like to thank both of you for being here and explaining it. Jackie, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for having us.